Hey, what's up? It's your girl, DJ Sky High Baby, and you are watching Great Tea News. So we gonna go through this live that she did last night, all right? And um, we just go break it down, man. We go break it down, man. All right, so hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all right? Share the video, all right? We go break this down to the molecule, all right? To just show you how crazy this woman is and how she doesn't even need to be in a relationship. So it goes for anybody that's trying to be a spouse with her or anybody trying to have a baby. She don't need no baby, no spouse. She needs help. She needs help. All right. All right. Fair use, man. Fair use. Let me share this screen. Let's go, man. Fair use. <sighs> this nigga is so sensitive. It's getting on there. Bro, so yesterday, I get super fucking drunk to the point where, uh, you know, I go home, but I go to my house because that's where... Um, oh, so now you got a house now? So why you at Blueface house? What is dad for? What's the point? You already lying. And you said you got drunk and didn't go home last night. That's word. That's quote unquote. Uh, I was out cheating, doing what I do. And Blueface getting mad for no reason. But anyways, my bad. My, my bad, y'all. My bad. I, I, I'm, a, I'm already irritated. My bad. Let's go. My homegirl's babysitting. My son at my house till I come back or whatever. So I just go out with a couple of teammates and you know Sky or whatever. And whatever I get drunk or whatever. Woo -woo. Long story short, I didn't go home because I, I just really couldn't. Like I just went to sleep after I threw up. Uh, Blue calls me this morning and he's like, "What do you say?" Obviously, y'all see how I be on, like, locked down. Don't go nowhere. You feel me? I don't go nowhere. It's annoying sometimes. So, like, when I do go out, I do be, like, wanting to just cut loose and just be myself. You feel me? So, so when I did that yesterday, he, he like, well, so you went out and you didn't go home. And I'm just like, babe, I got drunk and I did go home. I went to where my son was at. Like, I could have went home and just left my son with, uh, you know, the babysitter and he would have been fine. So I, but I just wanted to go straight to my son. And then I'm hey, are, hey, are we just going to ignore the fact that she said that she stopped drinking and smoking? Are we going to ignore the fact that she said that she stopped drinking and smoking y'all remember that? But now you drunk to where though you're not coming home to my, you man, man. She don't care about nobody but herself, y'all. Nobody but herself. I like that. That's my house. Like, you know, like I have another house. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to just be over here. Went to sleep, woke up, you know, stuff like that. Long story short. And I was, I was saying hurtful things, though. I really was. So, I don't know what the fuck he think this is. I really don't care. It's nothing like you can do to hurt me more. Like, I've been through so much with him. I don't really, you know, care for real. Like, I don't need you. You don't need me. We, we're with each other because we want, we want that. We want that. You feel me? Yeah, but it's not about the money. That's the other thing, bro. Like, you know how much money I got? I don't care. You know what I mean? And I like that. It's like, all right, I'm 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 the type of bitch that know how to play my role. Like, all right, I got you, yo. You feel me? Like, I got you. I got you. I got you. Don't be getting mad because I didn't go home. I did go home. I went to my house. And if you would have called me, I would have answered. Like, the other, it's funny because the night before that, he was on the phone with me 24 hours, like literally. And I went out 
he called back in like another hour, like, hey, where you at? Hey, where you at? So I think he gonna do it again. Like, keep calling me. If he called me, I would've answered and like, hey, I'm fucked up, da da da. I can't do shit, da da da. I'm right here, I'm at my house. You didn't call me. That's on you or why you don't know where I'm at or I don't know, like, cause if you, if you mad at me for not answering the phone. You know how slow this woman is? It's on you that you don't know where, I'm, that you're mad that you don't know where I'm at. What type of relationship is that? What type of spouse is this? What type of partner is this? You know how slow that, you know how crazy that sound? It's on you that you don't know where I'm at. What? A dude that's in jail? It's on him that he doesn't know that he don't know where you at because you ain't answering your phone? You, you ain't came home? You live in his house? the hell is you talking about come on man come on man like the like the math ain't mathing so why people that's vouching for this and championing this and worship this is like they slow too y'all cheaters y'all dope fiends and y'all don't take care of y'all kids and i said what i said because y'all see yourself in Krishan, right right so if you see yourself in Krishan, that means you are Krishan. You, you can relate to all of the stupid stuff that you, Oh, I'm not even adding the fact that she's a fugitive. I'm not adding it in the fact that she's violent. So, I mean, y'all all of that. Y'all all of that. Y'all all of that. But let me remind y'all, bro. When school was over, when high school was done, they just freed all the special ed kids out into the world, didn't tell us who was who or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Our whole lives in school, we were separated. We knew who were who. We knew, all right, if they get the tripping, don't even pay them no mind. They special ed, you know what I'm saying? After high school, they let them out into society, and we don't know, bro. So when somebody trying, you just remember, they probably them. That's probably them right there, bro. That's one thing. You feel me? But I answer my motherfucking phone any and everywhere I'm at. Like, the hell? We don't do that with each other. What happened to my music? My music, I, bro, I have all my, I have a whole tape, bro. What's happening to your music? It's trash. That's what it is. Nobody want to listen to that. You you understand that nobody want to hear you. So you, you taking a backtrack on it. Ain't nobody want to listen to that. Come on, man. Come on. I have features with great artists. I have shit lined up. I'm waiting on him, like on purpose though, not cause I need to, not cause I know in this time period, I needed to go on my turtle show. So it's not even about him necessarily too. Like I like this time that I got to focus on my son, save money, and just focus on my son. Like, just focus on my son. Focus on my son. Pour into him. Pour into everything about him. Just, it's like when you have, when you, you don't even know what she be saying. Pour into him. Yeah, you was pouring nothing but Hennessy down your damn throat when you was pregnant with him. If that's what you mean, pouring into your son, because that's all you did. Stop playing, bro. Stop the cap. Now you care about now. Now you want to pour into your son. Now that blue face, blue face don't want to, nothing to do with you. Very interesting. Very convenient. I will say it's very convenient. It's given convenient. It's given convenient. You have a baby. It's like you need this grace period from not working type shit, and then. Then he's doing his power trip when we beef. Like, how was we beefing over Joe because I didn't go home or you didn't call me to see where I'm at and now you're scared because you don't know where I've been at or what you scared for? Like,
You feel me? It's crazy. But my thing is, why, why trip about something that's not even like relevant to trip about? Like, yeah, I said those hurtful. Cause yeah, I said some shit. Like I was, what I say? He was trying to make a point. I'm like, why are you being so evil on the phone, babe? You had the opportunity to call me all night, and you know I would have picked up. We're not even arguing about me not picking up or nothing. We're arguing about why I didn't go to this house. But I was at home with my child. I just needed to be around my child. Yes, I had people in my family helping me watch my baby. You can't be around your child at his house like you is all the time? How convenient. You want to be around your child, not a away from the house, but com c but you were too drunk? It's not making sense. So now you around your kid drunk? You want to be with your kid drunk? Sloppy drunk? You had you went to sleep? It's not making sense. What are you talking about? She don't even listen to herself. It's giving cheater. It, it, it's giving cheating. When I was out doing me, cool. And then he was like, uh, what else did he say? He was just trying to make his point. I didn't just sit there and be quiet. And I think the real reason why I didn't just sit there and be quiet is because, like, um, I'm doing a lot. And I'm doing a lot for somebody that showed me completely pure shit. So just because you have a change of heart all of a sudden doesn't mean I'm not still dealing with our past trauma. One. Two. I took the initiative to what? So you don't have to call Bobo or Whack or any of these people to be in your business, get your account situated, or I don't know, spend money on this. Like, I got you. Cool. I got you. Cool. And it, we're not talking about, oh, a couple hundred dollars. We're talking about thousands of dollars. We're talking about your lawyer fees. We're talking about... Um, the restaurant that's not open, well, the building, yes, it's getting remade inside, whatever, but you still have to pay rent every month. I've been paying that since he's been locked up. She's been paying that since he's been locked up. Yeah, I... The 12, 2015. Yes. Okay. Um, and uh, have you been changed in any way for you, uh, based on what's in front of you? No. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, at this time, the state now moves to admit. That ain't no. But it's 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 fifteen thousand every. So I pay every two months. So I pay two months whole. Seven 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 hundred and six hundred something plus woo woo times two. I just say 15, like, cause it's like a sketchy number that he say, oh, pay this. And I'm just like, why can't you just go to the nearest hundred? It's like awkward. So long story short, every two months I'm given 15,000 for rent for his restaurant. Like I'm offering, I'm, I'm, I'm willingly doing that. You don't have to tell me, you don't have to ask. I'm willingly doing that. What? That's just. Yeah, he's in his bouncer, bouncing, jumping her up and down. That's how I'm back. <laughs> and he's hitting this thing that goes on his little bouncer. So it's like I'm willingly being there for you, and you're just like mad as mad as fuck about what I said. And what I said was mean. And I don't know how you're supposed to talk to people in jail. It's just sometimes you just had enough. Like he'll say some shit. And I'd be just like, I get what you're saying, babe, but you're making it seem like that. You're winning from the situation more than I am. So why are you making it seem like, 
you know how like somebody tricking them? You're not my trick. Like I'm actually your teammate that's actually helping you win. Nobody, it's funny, nobody, nobody can't bring me down, bro. Like, nobody can bring me down. Nobody can bring, not, not, I don't even think we're actually beefing. I feel like he's just really mad at me because I said what I said. Like, he was trying to prove his point of why. Because it's like, when I'm telling the truth, and yeah, I have nothing to hide and I'm willingly paying your bills and I'm doing all of this to make sure your packages is there every week. If I keep hearing negative shit, even when I'm telling the truth, yes, I'm going to say, bitch, fuck you. And that's what I said. I called him a bitch. I said, fuck you. You're weird as shit. You're trying to argue with me. Like, like you, like, like, like you're you saying this to somebody in jail, F them. He's a weird, he's weird because you didn't come home last night. Is this not gaslighting? This is literally narcissistic behavior. So blue face is in the wrong because you're supposed to be staying at his house, allegedly with his baby. And you didn't come home last night and you mad because you mad at him because he's mad at you because you ain't answering your phone. You ain't call him. You call him any other time. You won't live any other time. Anyways, I mean, come on. You don't cost a lot, bitch. The fuck? Like, what? I see if I was using you. I'm not using you. I'm here with you. So it's like, I know how, but again, Blue never been in jail. He never been in this position to actually need, need, need what he needs. You feel me? So I understand, like, the way he's getting mad, but for me, hell no, I cannot do this shit. I can't do this shit. Like, I can't take bullshit over the phone. I'll be like, fuck you. When I said fuck you, he wanted to delete shit off his page, unfollow me. I don't care, that's not. You should have did that before I paid your rent. You know what I'm saying? And then it's funny because I've been in the house not going out. Like, sometimes I go out, boom, then I stop completely. Then I'm like, okay, this is not fun. Just not just, like, now I felt like a prisoner at the house. Like, yes, he's really childish. He's really childish. He's being childish. He's being really childish. He's getting on my nerves. And... Instead of just sitting up and just shutting up on the phone, it's like, I can't sit and shut up on the phone and get disrespected by you because you're upset that I didn't go home. I did go home. I have another house. I'm still my own woman. I can go home. If you can't trust me to go to my other house, that's weird. What are we doing this relationship for if you can't trust me? You feel me? Like, if I can't trust you, I'm going to go with the next person or I'm going to be by myself. Okay. If that's how you feel about me, if you can't trust me, going home, then you could have called. You didn't call. It was just weird. And then I'm like, what do you mean? He's just on the phone talking shit. Like, I'm like, bro, I don't got to hear this shit, bro. I was like, stay locked up, bro. Fuck you. Fuck you, bro. I'm like, yeah, I was saying, yeah, I didn't say that. Yep, I was saying bad shit, but it was just like, yeah. this shit hard for real. Like, it really is. Like, just being a mother is it's beautiful. It's not hard. Like being a mother is not hard at all. What's, what's you hard? being a mother is not hard at all because you're not a mother. What what actual real mother that's doing the dirty work, raising these children? You know what I'm saying? Good, bad, ugly times. You know what I'm saying? I know. I I I know. It's the most fulfilling uh, job in the world. All right. A lot of people, you know, what I'm saying they, they would not trade their children for for anything. You know, what I'm saying the experiences, the ups and downs. It is what it is. The ebbs and flows of life, being a mother. And this woman got the nerve to say that it's not hard to be a mother. That's how you know she's not a mother. <laughs> it's not hard. Wow. Wow. 
Fair use. Part about it is if you don't have support, you feel me? The support shit. Like, all right, cool. The support kind of like make you sad or something. All right, cool. I'm over here supporting myself and my child. Yeah, this is a nice, I like this house, but this is the very house I got kicked out of. You know what I'm saying? And I got my own house. So, you know, so it's not like the same like power trip you could do with me. Like, oh, I can say what I say and do what I do. And you got put up with it because you have nowhere to go. No, I'm not putting up with your tone. Like, bro, fuck you. What, nigga, I got this big ass tattoo on my face. If I was thinking about cheating on you, I would probably make sure it's fake and temporary. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I had the, 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 but it's so weird because this is so new to us. Like, we never, we never said we was going to be this loyal and be, we never did this before. So, I guess, like, our past trauma is fucking up what's trying to be new. I don't fucking know. I just don't like it. Like, You have no business being with him after all he did to you. If he had to put this energy in that child, he would come out like a baccarat. What? I don't know what she talking about. Uh, he was using you to get through. Ooh, cause he's in jail and that's why the Lord too is there. Oh my gosh, I'm scared for you, baby. The funny thing is, my thing is, I just want you to like stand on what you said. One thing about Blue, he he don't he don't say stuff and not do it for him. Like, all right, Blue, no, he has multiple females and da 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 da, right? He expected me to submit to that and just not do my own thing. When I just did my own thing, didn't submit, all right, cool. He got the taste of his own medicine. Cool, cool, cool. But then again, nothing's cool about it because it's unfair because it's the double standard shit and blah, 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 blah. So that's what I went about my business, got my house, got my car. Yes, I have this weak spot for him, whatever the case may be. But it always been me running back to him for real. And every times when he'll come back just for some, like, you know, spend time and say, that's him coming back. But no, I never see him run back the way he just did. So I was like, okay, you're running back, but what's up? It's cliche. It's very cliche all of a sudden you want to just get your life together because you're in jail. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, in the word Proverbs, it's a, I don't know for word for word, but basically the logistics of it, you can look it up, it's in Proverbs. It says hurtful things will happen, happen to you, like painful things will happen for you to change your ways. So just as much as this cliche, it's in a word. So I'm like, okay, you know, maybe, you know, you really got to change your heart. But I told this nigga before, we, we, before he went in, I said, watch you want to just call me and make me your girl. He was like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. And I was also the person, watch you get locked up. All this evil shit you doing to my child and me. Watch, watch God handle you. He get locked up. Like, I don't know. Long story short, I will say some shit. And All of the evil things Blueface does to your child and you. Nothing is more evil than what you did to your baby. What are you talking about? This woman's insane. This woman's insane and got the nerve to bring up Proverbs. Don't even know. She don't even know it. I, 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 I know what it is. But you'll get the logistics. You look it up. But you got to do this. You got to do this. Shut up. We ain't listening to nothing. Uh, uh, not, we, I'm not listening to you about no God, no Bible, no nothing. You're the farthest thing from that. You're literally a walking, talking, breathing succubus. You're a demon. The hell are you talking about? really know what's actually going on for for me. It's 
no such thing as jail talk. You feel me? Blue's not broke, yo. He got money. When I get mad, I call him a broke nigga because he be doing broke nigga shit. Like, stop playing. You feel me? Woo woo. But in actual reality, he's not broke, bro. This nigga don't need me. I don't need him. So it's like, I think it's like an energy thing too. Like I have a good high energy. I'm very supportive. And when I make it, it and if and if I'm very supportive, I make however you feel. If you feel small, you're gonna feel big. Like I just have that natural effect just being who I am. So, you know. Yes, just as much as I need his help, he needs my help. Like, yeah, both ways. Then why are you paying his bills? Because that was offered. That wasn't, that wasn't, and, and me, it's not about money. It's not about money, it's really not. Like I had to learn the hard way. Um, we was beefing and I was entitled of the money that I did make him, you know? And I felt some type of way when he was like, you gonna leave with nothing because that's the way I found you, blah, blah. I instantly went to say no more. Now I know how to move when I, okay, cool. What? This time in a relationship, I'm gonna have my own money, my own account. And I'm still gonna give it away because I don't give a fuck. It's not about money. And I got a lot of money, so it's like, you know, that shit ain't nothing. So we pay rich nigga bills. No, you just pick up a roll and a trait when somebody actually needs you. Like, I wouldn't want him paying nothing. I wouldn't want him touching nothing. I want him to just worry about his mind and his spirit while he in jail. I'll take care of the bills. All you gotta worry about is getting through your time with your head on your shoulders. You know you don't need to call Bobo or Wack to pay this guy off, I got you, I got it. Why, cause that's just my heart, nigga, that is me. Nobody's not gonna change me for being me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, y'all could call it slow, whatever you wanna call it, but I really love unconditionally and it's crazy. I really do. Oh, that's hey, 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 she actually, oh, hey y'all, she, actually <laughs> understands that she's slow hey i'm flabbergasted y'all i missed that you can call it slow yes we gonna call it slow yes um, but let me remind y'all bro when school was over when high school was done they just freed all the special ed kids out into the world didn't tell us who was who or nothing like that you know what i'm saying our whole lives in school we were separated we knew who were who we knew, all right, if they get the tripping, don't even pay them no mind. They special ed, you know what I'm saying? After high school, they let them out into society, and we don't know, bro. So when somebody trying, you just remember, they probably them. That's probably them right there, bro. And so does he. And it's funny because I don't even point a finger. It's not like, um, as you, like, say, like, me, like, okay, back then, he was doing crazy shit, ooh, ooh, but I'll be mad as shit, ooh, ooh. That was because of me tolerating that shit, bro. And then when I stopped tolerating that shit, I had a whole insight of how not to put up with it ever again. You feel me? And then say if I'm scared to speak up or stand up for myself, I'm not going to be scared to speak up and stand up for myself. You know why? Because I don't give a fuck about that shit no more. Like I had to learn how to not give a fuck about shit. And really just give a fuck about myself. What do that mean? If somebody hurt your feelings or did something wrong to you, they did something wrong to you, hey baby, so cute, you miss your money. Hey. Man, she went so long without uh talking to that baby or checking on that baby. I don't know what toy he got. That sounds like a jackhammer. 
it, it sounds like uh Junior got like a uh uh you know what I'm saying? Like Thor's hammer or something. He was banging. I thought it was like construction. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. When I first heard this, I thought it was like construction workers outside. But I'm like, that's in the living room? And she's like, yeah, that's his toy. I'm like, well, if he's only nine months, eight, nine months, do you should he have a toy that's that loud and hard? He might hurt himself. But hey, <laughs> my my, my bad. I'm being over here logical and caring for a child. My bad. My bad. <laughs> that that's just so unlike Krishan and the Krish animals. My bad, y'all. My bad. <laughs> He's laughing at stuff. I don't really um. I don't know. I don't know how to blame nobody anymore. Like, even when people do wrong shit to you and shit, it's not even, it's not even their fault. It's your fault. You know what I'm saying? For putting yourself in that predicament or, you know what I'm saying? So, like, my thing is you have to take full responsibility of not protecting yourself in all areas. So, like, him doing this childish shit and following me. And try to stand. He's gonna try to stand on it. He he's a hell of a stubborn ass person. He really is. He did that, but that's just basically letting him, letting me know. Don't ever call him a bitch on the phone while he's talking. It's just man, you know. It's like yo, bitch. You feel me, bitch, bitch. But not for real. Like it's not that. It's like bitch for real. Like, I ain't even calling you a bitch. I'm just expressing myself, yo. This, cause what? Nigga, nigga. It's a choice to be here. It's not cause I have to be here. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, don't make me feel like this was the only option. This was the only choice. This was, this was wanted, bro. Like, don't make me feel like you can't trust me because you're insecure or you're going through what you're going through in these battles in jail. That's cool. No, I really am happy, yo. Like, with myself, like, I can't explain it, bro. Like, I grew so much that I don't even know how to um, respond to stuff. Like, y'all see how I've been in, like, bullshit, right? And I barely can respond to, or I don't respond at all. You see, like, I don't even know how to do that shit, back and forth shit, on, uh, online and stuff, like, I don't want to. Hey, man. <laughs> it's so funny because when they get bigger, you have to put them in like a playpen so they don't, like they move around and stuff. <laughs> like, yeah, you really grow it up, yo. No, but I've been quiet and out the way only because, like, you know, I, I, I realize, like, I'll go do stuff or do stuff or I'm just, just out living my best life, whatever the case may be. My light be, like, seeping in rooms that's not supposed to be there. Like, you know, like, like you'll see me at my worst only because 
it's like I've been played like I don't know like it's like a chess thing like when people make you go up against yourself and it's not necessarily you for real it was like manipulated that way so I just I I, I just I'm, I'm I'm just tired of being used for I don't know like it's just like I can't put myself in that predicament no more to be like oh well he did this but how did you let him you feel me like I don't let people I'm not worried at all I'm not You said you're tired of being used, but you're voluntarily being used. No, I said I'm tired of being used incorrectly. I volunteer to show up, like, you know, like, so what, you know? I really don't care. It's not hurting me. It's really not. It don't hurt at all, like, when, when, when we was arguing, I was like, what's up? Like, you're still, like, arguing with me. Like, we're the same people. We're not the same people. We changed, babe. Like, we grew past that. Okay, we have a new understanding, but we never practiced it when you was home. So now it's like you you spending all... Y'all ain't know that she double talking and telling on herself? Oh, I know we got a new understanding. So, you know, I, I know I've cheated, you cheated, and stuff like that. So we go move differently, right? But once I move the same, oh, I'm going to blame you and say we haven't been able to practice it because you ain't, you, you're not out. Girl, what are you talking about? Literally, the way that you're moving, it's like you're, you're, you're cheating, obviously. Like, what are you talking about? You're not answering the phone and you didn't come home last night. You at home every other night. Why you didn't come home last night? Oh, you just, you just mad. You weird. You a B. What? I want to be with my baby. Why you can't be at, why you can't be with the baby at the house? I want to be at my house sometimes. Like, but you you ain't been at your house in what? How long? Since since Blueface been in jail. It's been five months. Now all of a sudden you want to be at your house? Come on, man. Just convenient. It's just very convenient. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. All day long worrying about me and saying, and, and saying if I'm cheating on you and I'm not. Like, He's like, so why you ain't go home? I said, because I was drunk. Like, I didn't have the capacity to call my Uber and to get out. Like, I just couldn't do it. I crashed right on my couch. When I woke up, my family, my friends was there. My baby was great, fine. Like, like, I just needed time to myself to cut loose. I'm tired of being a mom all day, 24-7. Sometimes you need that time to yourself to go out, get your nails done. Go out, get drunk with your friends. I don't know. Just go out and just enjoy yourself. Like, I, that's what I'm not going to be getting in trouble. Like, don't get me in trouble with something that, you know, whatever. No, I did quit. I did quit drinking. I took my shot yesterday because I had a horrible game. Like, I just, I would like to be more like this. Is this is the other thing I learned about myself? Like the the person I am, the position I'm in. Um, you can't ever go back to normal. Like you can't just go back and go play with normal girls and da da da. da. Like you can't just go back and do normal shit anymore. You'd be like a target just because of your light. And it's not necessarily you, them, or whatever. It's just that doesn't exist being normal. Like, people will try to dim my light. And it's annoying because it's not even my light. It's God's light. So it's like, I don't even have control over that. So my spirit of discernment just know, like, oh, okay, I see what's going on. 
So I'll just try out next year, but this time I'm going to buy a team, like buy a team, make it my own team, have more, more, more control. He's going to buy a team. Do y'all hear this woman? With what money? Girl, you going to jail. What are you talking about? And so you go buy a team so they can force you, so you can force them to play you? Because obviously you ain't good enough. So the coaches said you don't know the plays. You sit, you, you you trash. You trash. So you go sit on the sideline and clap. You might as well be a cheerleader. You should have been a cheerleader. You know. So you go buy a team so so you can force them to play you. But you just talking. It's the same woman that said that she buying an island. She bought an island. That her and Blueface buying a house on the beach. That she's marrying Blueface. This woman's delusional. Girl, literally, you have multiple felony warrants across the country in four different states, allegedly, okay? That is literally 8% of the country that you're wanted in. You going to jail. The hell is you talking about? You talking about blue face in jail. You going to jail too. Why are you talking like you high almighty? Like you different. You the same. Two peas in a pie. Y'all both dumb. In this situation so I can play way more in my favor and not be something that, I don't know, that takes from my value. So that's pretty much where I'm coming from. Like, and then it's funny because I don't drink because I'm sad. Like, you know, when I drink and I'm sad, I will go live and tell y'all, yo, da 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 da. It's funny. I don't even complain no more what I be going through. I just take it up with God and then, like, be mature about it for real. And then, other things like drinking or smoking is not negative. Like you don't want that to be a negative outlet. So that's what I was making that a negative outlet because I couldn't deal with my neg negativity maturely. So me drinking now has is not a problem. Like, you know. Now I'm just updating y'all because y'all are all my fans. Like, oh my God, what's going on Instagram? Nothing, y'all. It's because it's like, I'm not up against nobody but myself, you know? Not a man, not who he's dealing with, or I'm just up against myself, you know what I'm saying? And I got to do what's best for my son. I got to do... What I feel like I, I want to do for myself, like, but I'm like, Blue, this is the longest I ain't did shit ever, like, ever. Every year of my entire life, I always productive or stuck to something, and then it worked out for me, and I'm just eating from it, eating from it. This season, after I had my child, and then I went through this weird-ass storm with Blue, and then- Man, why this girl is lying? I, I, I stay some, I, I, I stick with some, and I stay productive. You're lying. You ain't stuck with nothing. Where your music at? I thought you was a rapper and a singer. Where that was? You ain't stuck with that. I thought you was a. Wasn't you a track star? Did, did you run track? What happened with that? Did you did you quit that? Oh, this is crazy. This woman is literally saying this twenty four hours. After she just quit a football team. What are you like? What are you, you're a quitter? What are you talking about? You ain't finished nothing. What are you talking about? Bruh. We're we're literally watching insanity. And the people that worship this woman, 
is just as insane as she is. Delusional. Delulu. What the hell is she talking about? She literally saying this right after she just quit a football team. Come on, man. You can't make this up. You can't make this up. You get locked up and then I sit on hold, but I'm not necessarily hold. It's more like sit on a support system in this man's corner because I see the bigger picture. I see if what things would go, if it goes the way it's supposed to go accordingly. Great. If not, I'm not going to be sad about it. You know, I'm just going to run it up. But I don't, I don't stoop to people level to just like, I, I used to do that. No, I'm not sad. I'm just in my thinking box. That's it. Like, I already have my my thing lined out, you know? That's it. You just react. I mean, no, I'm just being transparent. I ain't reacting. Reacting is like, I mean, I react on the phone. Of course, that's personal. That's me and him. Like, because, like, sometimes you just need to hear it. Like, like sometimes you blow up somebody so so big, they forget like what you done for them. Like, bro, I just been here obedient as fuck, on good terms, doing my shit, supporting you, riding for you, stamping you, vice versa. Like we don't owe this to nobody but to our happiness. Like, okay, you saying I actually make you happy? You really make me happy, so let's be happy together. Cool. All right, we doing it, and then out of nowhere. You feel some type of way because I went to my house. That's cool, baby. But that ain't fair. Like, you got me fucked up. So when he had me fucked up, I called him a bitch. I said, stay in jail. I could have just sat there and, and, and be scared of what his response would be if I did that. Or I'll just do that because sometimes I'm just tired of hearing something that's like, that's not nothing. Like, I'm, I'm tired of hearing bullshit. You know, I don't, I don't like bullshit. Like, I don't like hearing shit that doesn't make sense of what we agreed on. Wait, nothing makes sense to you. Duh, you slow. You say you don't like bullish. You're full of bullish. That's all you do is talk bullish. You full of BS. That's all you do. That's all you talk about. That's what your life consists of. It's nothing but chaos. You ain't noticed that you're the common denominator. When you come around, bad things happen. You ain't never, you, you ain't never took accountability and thought about that. Everything is moving just smoothly. Everything is just fine until you come around. Blueface wasn't in jail uh, until Christian got around. James Chanel, uh, right, um, didn't get punched in the nose and nothing like that or uh, until you came around. But remember, Tamar Braxton said she never had an issue on her tour like that at a show like that ever. Tamar Braxton has been doing shows since the 90s. My bad. Let, let me play that back, y'all. Do y'all know how long ago the 90s is? 30 to 25 years ago? But as soon as Chris Sean come around, her backup singer got a bloody nose, got a bloody mouth. Interesting. Interesting. You know? So, I mean, this is just a dark spirit. Remember, this is the same woman that literally drank the smoke her entire pregnancy and uh, literally threatened uh, the baby, basically. That's literally what she was saying of getting rid of it throughout her pregnancy. So, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. I mean, like the just the clueless, like just to be this clueless to think that you're just this golden child. You're you're above everybody. Uh, it's everyone else's fault. She, you, I've never heard Christian say, "Hey, you know what? Everything's my fault." Like all this stuff that's going on, you know, it's my fault. She get caught up uh trying to uh set up blue face. Oh, it's Taseki's fault. Huh? Interesting. 
um, you go um, to the football game, right? And uh, the police is called on you. All right, you're you're blaming you're blaming people. Oh, you weird fans and this and that and this and that. No, technically you are a fugitive. I mean, you have warrants. Like they're the bad people for trying to get your criminal self off the streets. Because I mean, let's be honest here. I mean, you're not doing nothing productive. I mean, you're not. The least you can do to be productive is raise a a baby, ra- raise a, a good citizen. That's going to be out here in the world and that, you know, that other people have to deal with. That's the comp. That's the common courtesy that you have to do as a mother. You can't even do that right. So it's not like you're adding anything to society. I mean, let's just be honest here. I mean, literally, what are you doing? You know, so if you aren't contributing to society and you are a criminal, you're violent. <laughs> uh, Yeah, you should be in jail. I mean, yeah, you have warrants. Let, let, let's get you off the streets and get you rehabilitated, like how they say jail's supposed to do. Let's go get you rehabilitated. We'll go do your little time, and hopefully you come back sober and, uh, you know, well-minded. I doubt it would happen, but, you know, a man can dream, right? A man can dream. We agreed on this. I get it. He's like, you agreed. I know, but you have to also... Taking consideration, I've been locked up, bro. Okay, when I get drunk or try to go out and celebrate or whatever, you can still call me. Like we can argue about me not answering. Don't argue about where I went. I went home, or well, you ain't go to my house. Okay, well my child wasn't at your house. My child was at my house, and. Those trips are like 30, 40 minutes a drive. I was already like, bro, I was not making it. I was, <sighs> I drank way too fast. And then my tolerance, I'm thinking my tolerance is like, it's, like you know how I used to drink? I'm sorry, but I, I never, I was drunk, but I never like passed out or throw up. This time I passed out, threw up. I'm like, oh shit, I gotta go home. I didn't pass out, but before I, before I can feel me passing out. Well, let me take my ass home. You didn't mean to say that I know it just triggered you. Yeah, like on the phone, like he just, yeah, like, yeah. It was annoying because it's like, I know it's something small, but something small really mean a lot to you because you're in jail. So I get it, I get it. But it's like sometimes when you focus on something so small and then forget about what's actually happening. That person like me, I felt so like defeated, like, what's up? What? I'm not gonna just argue with you. Fuck you, bitch. Woo woo. Hung up. He ain't called back. All I see is his little Instagram just changed. Okay, that's cute. That's not gonna make me mad. It really does. It's gonna make me wanna just wait for you to call back. Can we? Are you ready to talk? What? If you're not, then okay. Then just stand on it. I'm not over here. I don't know. I don't know how somebody could be pretending. You only be, you could pretend if you're benefiting. I'm like, baby, I love you to death, but nobody can't be pretending with you. And I'm not even benefiting from the situation you are. Your bills is getting paid. You got somebody to hold you down all type of shit and then it's the person you actually fuck with like yeah your little flings or whoever you be in in, in intertwined in you really don't actually really fuck with them but whatever you know what i'm saying niggas got egos niggas have to go through shit to know that boom god took what you actually really want you had right in your face and all of a sudden you wanted me with you and it's not because oh 
you locked up. Da, da. No, you come home in a couple months. I know it's not jail talk. It's just the fact that you have to live something, or get revealed something, and then try to double back on it. And then it's like, all right, let's work it out. Then it doesn't work out because we're still stuck on trauma. Like you're you're stuck on me passing out at my house instead of like making it here. If I tell you I couldn't make it here and you could have still called me, I would have still answered. Like, what the hell? You it was funny because the, the day before that I went out, but I'm like, you know, out like out like in basically posted up with um so Dr. Trey pulled up with some girls. Um I didn't know them. Uh I was like, all right, bet we should just go out or whatever. We never really went out. Like we were just we went to the liquor store, we drank something, shit. Um we 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 went to this one place, but I don't know, I just wasn't in the mood to really just be outside for her. I really just wanted to get drunk. So Of course you wanted to get drunk. This is the same person that said she stopped smoking and drinking for football, but she didn't do it for the baby. So we know she was lying. But we still we still love to see a train wreck. We love to see this liar just lie all day. So you went from, oh, just literally a few weeks ago, oh, I don't drink or smoke. I just want to get drunk. Hmm, interesting. So if so if you say so if you talking about you you done cheating, how we know you done cheating? You lie about everything else, huh? Oh, oh, oh my bad, my bad, y'all, my bad. I'm using logic over here. <laughs> my, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. But he was on the phone the whole entire time of like the whole situation. He's like, "You're going now." I'm like, "Well, not really." Not See what the plot is, but you're not outside yet. Like you're not outside yet. We ain't really go nowhere yet. We went to this one uh spot in uh this one spot in uh Sherman Oaks. Boom, we went to Sherman Oaks. And then like within five minutes, we left that location. They didn't have liquor that I wanted. I wanted Hennessy, they didn't have Hennessy, they had some vodka. I don't know what they had, it was just whatever. Boom, we go to the liquor store. But on my way to the liquor store, he calls me. He's like, you're going out. I said, well, I'm really just trying to get drunk. What, you want to stay on the phone? He's like, no, I don't want to uh, intrude. I said, you're not intruding, baby. I love you. You can stay on the phone. You feel me? Like, he like, no, no, no. You know, I don't want to be a part of it because, no, baby, you can stay on Like, I have to keep saying it. So he finally stays on the phone. Um, He popped back in on the call. This one I'm loaded. We're, I'm drunk talking all type of She's like, where you at? I said, what's the, and then I asked him, like, what's that place that be like after hours for food? Uh, and he like, Barry's. I was like, oh, I'm about to go to Barry's, then I'm gonna go home. He said, okay, cool. I said, you wanna stay on the phone, right? Like, yeah. We on the phone the whole ride there. We get there, he's still on the phone with me. He like, all right, babe, I'm gonna put the phone down. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This sound like a cheater. This sound like a cheater story. This don't sound like a cheater story. This sound like this one on one. Like let's stop playing, y'all. <laughs> this this sound like some BS. Oh, you want to stay on the phone? Oh, where's that place? Oh yeah, I'm gonna go there and then I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Like come on. I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna go home and go to sleep. Like all right. Yeah yeah. I. Right. Now watch TV and then I'm gonna come back. Da da da. He kept doing that the whole night. So I'm like, what was the problem? Like yesterday, you could have did the same thing yesterday. Like, you know how I am. I'm just out, but like, you know, like I'm not out getting distracted, posted up with a nick. Like I'm not out, like, you know, tripping. Yeah, I'm explaining myself because I really care for him. And, you know, that's what it is. Yeah, go tend to that baby. Why you don't be bonding with your baby? That baby, it, that the baby wants some me time, but you want IG time. 
But why would we expect anything else, you know, anything more of uh, the Rockhead herself? All right. My bad, man. I, I keep using my brain. My bad, y'all. I, I keep forgetting you can't use your brain when it comes to Krishan. Okay, my bad. My bad. It's funny because he don't make me do shit, so I do what I want, you know? Like, everything I'm doing is the, out the kindness of my heart, and I don't know, that's how I support my man. So, you're in a relationship, but you do what you want. Make that make sense. Make that make sense. You know, So, you're surprised that Blueface is mad. Because when you're in a relationship and you're literally under uh, the man's roof, okay, with his alleged baby, having his dad help babysit that baby, okay, and you're still saying you do what you want, and he's a B, and he's weird if you feel any type of way or have any type of, like, thinking that you're outside doing God knows what or God knows who. Hmm. My bad. I my bad, y'all. I just keep using my brain. My bad. My bad. My bad. Like you, my man. I'm gonna go full, full. Whatever you need. He locked up. The last thing he should be worried about is anything. I want your mental health. Like you know what I'm saying. Like it's a couple of niggas that lose their stuff in jail. Because they have the right support or the right person talking to them, praying with them, reading the word. Like, me and Blue read the word. We pray. That's all we need to worry about, praying. You feel me? You the same way? Right, I know his bitches does like me, yo. Like, what the fuck? I don't need no nigga for no money or for a place to stay. Them bitches, them bitches need that. that. I don't need that. All I need is from you to show me that you really here for me. You feel me? That's it. I'm going to be who I'm going to be for you. You feel me? All right. We agree to make it. This is the first time we ever really said, let's do this. This way. And blah, 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 blah. Because niggas don't need no money, bro. Niggas don't need each. I don't need a nigga for no money or no place to stay. I'm sorry, no. And then I know who he is. Like, when he has my back, when, when, you know what I'm saying? When he do shit, I don't need him to do without asking. But that's the other thing. It's like, I'm not the type to teach you. It's like, you teaching me who you are, so, you feel me? Like, if you ain't picking up what's going on now, that's it, you know? I don't really care about anything else. It's like, nobody can shit on me, yo. I shitted on myself already when I tolerated a lot of shit that put me under 
had me drowning in the water. You feel me? And I can't blame nobody but myself. When that happened to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, this shit, ooh, ooh, shit happened. Da, da, da. Okay, what what did Krishan do? Well, Krishan didn't put a pers- a great parameter to protect herself, even if that was the case. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm a different bitch now. It's like, I don't care. I'm, Because this is the other thing. I don't like when hard shit happens to you. Like, bad shit happens to you, and it change your heart and make it hard. Like, I don't want to be that person that my heart gets so cold, I start going against God. Like, I'd rather just get worked on with my discipline and... You been going against God. What are you talking about? Nothing that you do is in the glory of God. So you saying that you don't want to go against God? So okay. So was it was it in God's favor when you smoked and drank throughout your pregnancy? Okay. Was it was it was it in the glory of God when you claim that you got rid of all of these previous uh, babies that you were gonna have? Okay. Um, like, what are you talking about? Throughout the pregnancy, you literally said that you were going to get rid of this baby multiple times. Is that in the glory of God? So what are you talking about? Do I got to pull up receipts? Think I want to see a baby. Get yourself together. Where the bottle at? Y'all oh my gosh. Drink it. She asked for another bottle. I'm just Where you got a liquor? Yes, I can. I can abort the child tomorrow. It won't hurt me. No, you don't have no fucking liquor. You don't have shit. I don't want to have a kid. And, and I know it's his kid. I don't care. I'm still killing it. That, that's the fun part about it. Can we go? Where we going? Listen to yourself. What? I don't know what to do. I don't want to do it no more. I give the fuck up. You don't have to deal with him. He still can raise your baby. That's you gotta leave your emotions out of it. So I left it out. I got no emotions no more. All right, so uh, you cannot deal with to do that to the baby no more. Cause that not, that's his baby. I don't want his baby. I don't want to have nobody baby no more, bro. I'm over it. Shit. Y'all not listening. I y'all am listening, Muda. Like, I, I don't want to have a baby no more. Y'all I keep listen. saying the other shit. Y'all are being insane. Let me just get this abortion. Leave it alone. I got rid of his kids. Plenty of times before that, you feel me? So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> you, why would you just say it like that? Because I was ready to get rid of this one, like why, why would you willingly. Like I right, fuck it, he don't want it no more. Fuck it. I should go too with you to get this abortion on. No rushes. I don't know what to do. First, I was getting pregnant, and then I abort and shit. Like ooh, you did not three times <laughs> with him. So I was just like, all right, we're not ready. All right, you don't want it. All right, cool. Mom, I don't want to have a baby no more. I'm getting an abortion tomorrow. Why? I don't believe in that. Kill her for the future. It's not for today. I get it. Well, I was just saying. Well, give it to me. Hell no. I don't believe that, that, Sean. I had 12. Mom, he don't want to have a kid. I damn near don't want to have a kid. I'm ready to kill this baby. I'm, I'm ready to kill this baby. I made up my motherfucking mind, right? Oh, things gonna rush to my head. Like, damn, y'all. I almost killed you. With abortion. Like, on some real shit, I wouldn't... I wouldn't... Look, I wouldn't... Ab- yeah, so that was just a little flashback. I just wanted to make sure my mind wasn't just, you know, my mind's playing tricks on me. I don't, I don't, I, I just want to make sure I just wasn't hearing things, seeing, seeing things, making sure, you know, I'm not seeing illusion, a mirage. You know, I, I am a little thirsty right now. I got to drink some water. I, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't in the desert, you know, and I'm seeing a mirage and an illusion. Uh, when she says, oh, I don't want to go against God, but I just played a whole three-minute damn clip of you going against God. But uh, I digress. My my bad, y'all. My bad. Let's keep it going. All right, let me prevent this by doing this. Not... Oh, damn, I went through all this. Now I'm going to be like this person. Because what? There's such thing as real love, real self self. What? That's... 
Like there is a place like where you can get your happiness, like real life. Like you don't have to all, you don't have to settle for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if you want to settle for a position without addressing everything, it's crazy. Me, I'm not settling, bro. I'm addressing shit like as we go, as we go. Let's address this as we go. Let's address how we treat and talk to each other as we go. Let's address what we don't like about each other as we go. You feel me? I'm addressing shit right now, like. You feel me? Like, all right, cool. You mad about me not going home, but baby, stop playing with me, yo. You can still respect me in the call. We can have an uncomfortable conversation, whatever the case may be. The disrespect is out. Why? Because I'm about to start disrespecting you back. What? Bitch, shut the fuck up. You need to stay up in there. Like, I said some reckless shit. Like, but it, it was only because that energy was reciprocated. It really was. So then he tried to reciprocate. This, this other thing. Then he reciprocated more. Like, oh, oh yeah, she said what she said. All right, let me unfollow her. Let me switch it up. Bro, you can't switch up shit, y'all. Yeah. It's me switching up shit for us to actually work out. And because I, I, all I had to do was be where, where I was at. Like, at one point, I ain't gonna hold you. Blue made my heart so cold that I was doing a lot of. Like, I was doing a lot of me, but I knew me doing me wasn't really fulfilling me. Like, yeah, I'd be with such and such and be cool with such and such and doing such and such things um, because whatever the case may be, but they ain't really fulfilled me for real. Like, gaining my self control and actually, like, speak, like, I don't know, sticking up for myself without even breaking the rules. That's what fulfilled me. Me learning, for real. Like, this shit is a learning experience. And I was telling Blue, like, all this shit temporary, yo. All this shit is temporary, yo. All this shit. This relationship, my relationship with life is temporary. Like, 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 you can't, I can't take, like, I can't take my husband or my kid to heaven with me. We only there to serve God when we in heaven. I don't even think we remember our lives on earth while we in heaven. And what we accomplished and what we did and blah, blah, blah. I don't even think we remember all that. I don't even think it goes like that. You feel me? So my perspective on things like that shit that gotta be real and substantial, it just gotta be real internally. Like some shit that you know, you can enjoy while you while you here. Like I can't enjoy something that I can't trust. I can't enjoy something that don't want to grow. I can't enjoy vice versa. You feel me? So that's all that really matters. Like I was telling him, like, and I told you, but we can't argue the same like how we used to. That shit's not even substantial. Then it's heartbreaking as fuck because. Only because, you know, it's not so heartbreaking that it like, I can't explain it, y'all. Y'all know me, y'all. Like, any anything that we play the get back game, like, he, he getting, at, getting back at me because I hung up. This would make, this would, if when I was childish back in, I'll, ret I'll retaliate. I'll take it as, are you breaking with me back? What well, I'm done. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. No, I'm just, and now I'm just taking notes. I'm just, I'm letting it play out. Like, I don't really retaliate nothing. Like, so the tattoo would never look crazy, yo. Like, that's the other thing, yo. I don't really have regrets and shit. If the tattoo was an ugly tattoo and the person that did it fucked up, yeah, I'll cry about it, but. Just like how y'all say I couldn't cover this up, where is his face at? In this. And I only did one session. I didn't even go back to do the other sessions. But you see the rose. It's rosy. So it's like, don't worry about the face part. 
But that's not even what I'm, that's not even the conversation, friend. And I don't need nobody but myself. Then I have to listen and all this other stuff. But then for partners, we listen to each other. Like you don't just go to the worst scenario as soon as you get pissed off. Why? Because I could have did that a couple times. Like, you know, like that should be done. Girl, you really slow? No, bitch. I'm really, like, really loyal to people. Nah, you slow. Nah, you slow. So, why is she checking on this baby every 45 minutes, y'all? Like, like, this woman literally cares about talking into this screen more than her baby. Go take care of that baby. Go care for the baby. Why you can't do this while you're holding him? She can literally just prop the phone up. And still talk and stuff like that. And still, you know, play with the baby, hold him, feed him. You know, whatever she got to do. Nope. Let me go walk in a whole nother room. And uh, <laughs> check on this baby every 45 minutes while he's banging on his walker from what she said with some toy that sounded like literally like a jackhammer. It sounded like the Incredible Hulk. I'm like, D is that something that the baby should be playing with? Sound, you know, sounds a little dangerous. He might hurt himself. But hey, like I said... I'm being, um, uh, you know, logical. My bad, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm being someone that, you know, like, hey, look, you know, caring about the baby. Something that she doesn't. But it, my bad. Let's go. It's not even about the internet. My identity, nothing. It's about what you need. And I'm there for you. The end of the story. You know? That's it. I know Lyric Channel, you're trying to say, no, you're slow. Baby girl, I'm not, bro. Just because you all your mistakes and your life is not documented and nobody can chime in on where you're slow at. You feel me? Like, you just, you slow about making that comment, to be honest. I don't even know who you are or you existed till you made the comment, so... It's like, who's slow? You, you're coming under somebody you don't even know. Just saying, everybody's trying to chime in and talk about the wrong shit. What you say? I'm just responding to everybody. You think I'm not gonna respond to because it's negative? You said what you say? I don't care. I don't care. What the fuck is going to take you for you to know your words? As soon as he come home, he's gonna try, try to clown you. Watch. What? You're not even supposed to be worried about what other people's going to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not worried about what you're going to do. And if I got to worry, then I'll relocate quick. Feel me? Tripping. I'm not worried at all. I'm set up nice. I'm grounded for real internally. And nothing really, like, hurts for real. Like... It hurt because, okay, I try to give it a try, but it don't hurt, hurt. Like, it don't hurt. Shit don't hurt. Like, tell you, this lifetime is really, like, short. We used to live for f over 500 years old. Now we only live up to, like, 100, if that. Some people blessed to go over 112. Cool. That's super. 70, that's, that's normal. Okay, sometimes people die of natural causes. 50 or they just get killed randomly at a young age. So, you know what I'm saying? Okay. 
my point from all of that is short. Life is short. I'm starting all new, bro. So me and Blue Plan was to like get a new house together and blah 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 blah. God forbid, save me and Blue don't work out. I'm still gonna do the plans that I intended to do, you know? Get a new house. Cause everybody know where I live because of the internet. So now I have to get like something that's like like private. So as whereas well though you can't even look it up from the description of the house. But that took like me having to learn that from my first house to know all of this. Like, you know, like, I can't explain it. You shouldn't have went back. It's not that I went back anywhere, I never left. All I did was got my shit together, got my own shit, so I could deal with people accordingly instead of dealing with them out of what they can do for me or... That's how I know I truly love them because once I got all my shit in my house, in my car, and all this other stuff, like when I got all my shit to separate me from needing anything from this man, it wasn't even about what I needed. It was about what I want. And it was a relationship with a guy I'm really actually into. But baby, I'm not gonna be crying with a river, a wolf, and nothing, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm really destined for like nothing but greatness. Like with or without whoever were to be with me, you know? No, 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 my, my bad. I'm gonna correct you, Krishan. I, I think I think you um got your words mixed up. You're destined for nothing but prison. That uh, I think that's what you said. That's what I think you really meant to say. My bad. You're destined for jail. You're destined for prison because that's what the warrants say. Okay, you're a violent criminal. Okay, do I have to uh, remind people? Do I have to remind people? I think I do. Okay, this this woman is uh wanted, y'all. Okay, yes. So I think she's talking about she's destined for prison. Okay, I think she's saying that she's destined for prison. Okay, I, you know. So I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just here to correct Krishan. She just misspoke, y'all. Yeah, y'all know Krishan. <laughs> y'all know Krishan. So I, I just I just want I just want to clear things up. Okay, okay. That's how I'm, I'm just. She had her own goals set and she accomplished them. She, she was never gone. Oh God, he not, he ain't never did. He ain't never did for you. You did for him and continue to the fuck. I don't want to agree with that. <clears throat> like, I'm too humble to, like, agree with that. Like, yeah, I know who I am. Thank you, Jesus, that I'm my own mogul, mogul, whatever that is, own person. Like, I, I don't have to show up with him to receive what I receive, whatever the case may be. But if I be honest, he vouched when I, when I first met him. He like, yeah, like, it was just changing and seasons and seasons and changes. So that being said, the season I am and the change I am with him is just us learning how to understand each other. Like, what? Okay, I can't get with that. Okay, I can't get with this. Okay, let's figure it out. 
Okay, cool, cool. All right. You need regrouping? Cool, I'll go ghost. Cool. What? Are you? Uh, uh, cool, cool. You think that's it? Only time I really was like popping my shit for real was when I felt hurt for real and I felt unheard and I was caring about all the wrong shit, honestly. I was caring about how I felt instead of what I need to become. Like, all right, Krishan, you need to become a stronger individual to, to deal with things on a mature level because you can't you can't stay somewhere for too long. It just doesn't it doesn't go, it doesn't go well. <laughs> and that's why I didn't do bad things. Uh, another go around, unless it was paying me different or putting me like I, I had to be promoted to do something like it's just different. I'm not wasting time or money. Uh, me, I like to see things through. Now, I'm not going off a of base of your liking or whatever. I don't need you know, me, you know? Like, y'all don't have to agree with me. Because I necessarily don't know y'all to agree or know anything about y'all either. I like to do is I like to embrace my mistakes and just see it through. It's not necessarily like see it through, it's more like I gave my deadlines and shit. I gave my I set my boundaries. I I did what I did. Now I have to see my see it through for me. Just personally. He like, I said, what you do that for? He said, 
Oh, Blue called me. I said, yeah, he called you. Why he still mad? I don't know why he called you. Why he mad? He need to call you when he come down. But like, you know how he is. Yeah, but we, I'm done dealing with how he is, bro. Like, if we can't really see eye to eye right now, that's weird. What? Nobody's not just be paying your bills for nothing, y'all. I'm not going to be paying your bills and and, 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 and you got to worry about trusting me. Nigga, you can trust a bitch, bro. We, we, we grew past that. Real shit, like, what the fuck? You feeling insecure over the phone and then trying to deflect all your insecurities on me? It's pissing me off because you an expensive ass motherfucker, so you need to watch your mouth. That's what my point was, for real. He like, he just tired of hearing my point, so I'm just like, all right, well, I don't know what that is. I don't really give a fuck. That's what he needs you for. He don't need shit. We don't need anything. That's the thing about it. We're doing shit because we actually fuck with each other. It's just like, say if I agree on this and he agree on that. That's perfectly normal. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's like, that's a normal trait to not agree all the time. I don't agree with none of my friends sometimes. And then we come to a common ground, then we take accountability, and then we regroup, and then we get stronger. Cool. That's what this is. A situation where it has to just do it, do its course. Because it sprung up for me calling him a bitch. And I only called him a bitch because it's like, like I said again, and I'm going to keep saying, watch your mouth move. Nobody over here just taking care of shit for no reason. Just being here for you for no reason, y'all. Like, chill out. I was big and still be big and loud about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got to keep repeating it because I keep reading comments. It's okay. I'm going to let him go through everything because... Y'all notice nothing translate in her head like, oh, hey, you know, my, my baby wants attention. He's crying. He's screaming. He's yelping. He's doing something. Let me just get off this live and tend to my baby, y'all. I'll, I'll be back. I'll see y'all later. I mean, you know, that's... that. She literally look over like he's a nuisance. She look at him like, like he's interrupting her live. Y'all know that's how she think, right? You know that's how she think, right? She's literally saying, "Oh, hey, like, what, what, what? Why are you interrupting my life?" I mean, that's, the, I mean, that's, that's just the vibe that I'm getting. The vibe that I'm getting is, uh, <laughs> "What's wrong with you, baby? <laughs> you okay?" <laughs> now let me go get back to ignoring you. I mean, that's just the vibe that I'm getting. I don't know. It's a vibe all the time. Yeah, that's the vibe that I'm getting. All right, neglect. All right. I don't know. Like, say, say if um, I was locked up and I'm insecure about certain things and I'm calling you and you don't just let me say my peace of mind because I'm locked up and you want to, I don't know, like, I see where he's coming from, but it's like, you just have to see when he come home. Baby, push on. You want me to pick you up? Yeah. I 
But no, nah, I'm just in this bitch. Yeah. I really don't care That other thing, nobody can, nobody can actually play, play you for real. If anything, you played yourself if you let somebody play you. So it's like you. I don't know. I'm about to get up off of here. That was my little vitin session. Uh, we'll keep y'all updated on my saga. like these Yeah, like the great one because it's like more Uh, um, I sketched out. Yeah. I sketched out this whole like um, what's this called? Uh um, the thing that you put in your mouth. A teething, yes. I sketched out a whole teething situation for him. He loves it. It's so funny.
Cause like um when they first start teething, uh I can't explain it. I just designed something and it was just because me just being a mom. I'm like, do they have these? Is this so I created something that they don't have on the market that could be very beneficial for babies. No, where am I getting that to cover up? I'm not doing anything, bro. What the hell? What the hell do this? Like, you know? Not when a man just feel below themselves, so they just cut out everything. Like, this is how I feel. I feel like I've been in his corner, so me trying to voice how I felt, it didn't go well, so they're not even went further enough to disrespect them. So this is him retaliating. I don't think this is like uh, something that serious for real. I mean, this hair gets so hot, but it be so cute when it's down. It's right now. I just need to wet it, even the top part. It's like yeah. Oh no, I'm not the same person anymore. I'm, I'm wiser and I'm more like content. And more in control of me and my situation. And that's the only thing that matters. I ain't gonna lie. It seems like she check on the baby just because she read it in the comments. I feel like she be tuning them out and be forgetting all about them, but she read all these comments because the people like, hey, man, hey, go see what Junior doing. Go check on your baby. Go do this. Go do that. And then she's like, oh, you're right. She's literally looking in the camera to about her hair. Just stupid stuff. Tend to that baby. Oh, my Lord. Like, why do we, why do strangers have to tell somebody to, anyways. You know uh, what I put on the screen that he loves? It's called Minnow's Bible. Have you ever watched Minnow's Bible? It's for babies, kids. He loves the little, the songs they have on there, the colors. I can just tell he's into it. Read your Bible, went to God. Yeah, I did that. And I'm going to do that right after this live too. I'm just being transparent because I don't, it's like, it'd be funny because when he do stuff, it's like, bro, you know, you did, just did something. So now I got to explain myself. Just for my sake.
Uh oh. My stuff froze up, so I can't really see if you're commenting or not, or anyway comments. Um. It's so funny though, cause it's. You don't stay mad at me for long. Plus, I guess whenever he's ready to talk, we're gonna talk about. But that's the other thing. He don't like when I call him bitch. So it'd be like one of his little traits where he like try to prove a point when I call him a bitch. But it'd be like, he be bitching the fuck out of me on the phone. I'd be like, bro. But I see if he was doing something. You're not even on child support. I don't even do that type of shit either, but it's like, you don't want any of that shit. And I'm not begging or asking for no money. So, you trying to pop it. Cause I didn't go home was crazy. Then I don't even think that's why he mad. He mad because I hung up and said what I said. That's not like he was mad that he he but he get over it when we over the phone. It was just like I'm tired of like letting him be mad at something. It be getting on my nerves. Like I see if I was like really cutting the fuck up and just doing wrong by him and cool. All right, yeah, you got something to be mad about. It would really hold you down, yo. Oh my god, and so committed in it. Like I never been committed in my life like this. Like, yeah, I used to deal with Blue in the beginning and shit, but I was dealing with other people. This time I'm dealing with Blue, I don't deal with nobody. You feel me? And that's- Right, she literally just told on herself that basically she is for the streets. Krishan finally just admitted it, looked dead in the camera and said, yeah, I never been with somebody like this. Um, So that means obviously when she was with Ronnie, she, uh, she was doing her own thing. Like she literally just said she's never just been faithful. Yeah, I mess with Blueface, but you know, I was messing. I was messing with other people. So you're for the streets. So why would Blueface trust you? There's nothing trustworthy about you. You don't know how to keep. You don't know how to clean. You obviously don't know how to cook. You know what I'm saying? Your hygiene is horrible. I'm sure he don't trust you to pay any bills. I'm sure everything uh, Wack, Bodine, and J Jaden is taken care of. Like, literally, what do you do? I'm really asking this. Like, what do she do? Other than just go live and be chaotic and punch people and fight people and neglect her child. I mean, what? I mean. <laughs> anyway. That's like real shit. So it's like, all right, can we stop acting like, um, you got worried or something? Damn, I must have traumatized you or something? Damn. But you traumatized me too, so... You feel me? But that don't even matter for real. It's just like, what the fuck? What's going on? You good? If not, that's cool. I ain't no fucking follower. I'm going to get my clarity. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to him. And yeah, then we can handle that. All that. Oh, he unfollows you and switched up his sister. Yeah, because I called him a bitch. Yeah, let me know so before I really switch up my whole program. Like, you know, like I ain't going to be switching up just because you pout and mad about something real stupid. That's my little story. So why is she so sure that it's Blueface Baby if she's saying that 
she was messing with other people the entire time before. So if you was messing with other people the entire time before, you basically just proved Whack 100, Carlissa, Blueface's point of paternity, questioning the paternity. I mean, Blueface did say that you was messing with 10 other guys at the time. You didn't deny that you was messing with other guys. You said it was only three or four. Right? Um, Like, come on, man. He actually, on Crazy in Love, he said that he caught you in bed naked with another man. So, yeah, man. Anyway, my, my bad. I'm over here using my brain. My bad, y'all. I'm about to open up these gifts. So I have gifts, but I wanted to do it on Snapchat. I don't know where they came from, but they came from some fans. So thank you so much. This is really sweet. And it's funny because I finally got a picture of her. Like someone, basically I, I can see the receipt right here of what it is, but when I open it, I'm going to be like, oh my God, I'm happy. So, yeah, I'm going to do that, clean up, and uh, I don't know, rest for real. I do need some sleep. I ate already. But I'm waiting for the baby. He's going to get tired soon because he's playing with his kids. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I don't know, man. That don't sound just like I, I don't know, man. Does that sound normal to you guys? I don't know, man. I don't know. And I find it, I don't know. She, she, she showed this baby on camera and she do everything else on camera. Literally showing when she taking a dump. Literally got whole XXX tapes with blue face. You show everything else. But for some odd reason, when it kept, you know, coming to the baby, you keep, you know what I'm saying? You keep putting the camera down. Like, that's not weird to y'all. She showed this baby any other time. But I noticed all throughout this live stream, she'll just put the camera to the roof or she put, you know what I'm saying? And then you just hear her and the baby in the background. Like, I don't know. I could be thinking too much, but I just find that weird. That wasn't a laugh, y'all. I'm sorry. That's not a laugh. That's not a laugh. That's not a laugh. Come on. That is actually disturbing. He loves avocado. He likes avocado. We've been new. He likes mashed potatoes. Fritz. Why did he laugh like this? <laughs> no, that's not a laugh. I'm sorry, y'all. That's 
for Junior, y'all. Pray for Junior. This is this is crazy. <laughs> it does sound like he's gasping for air. Like he's having trouble breathing. Come on, man. But I'm the bad guy for questioning stuff. Just, you know, just kind of having an eye out for just any type of weird, I, I don't know, man, activities from what I'm noticing from this woman. But it is what it is. Uh, let the Christian animals uh, say it. The baby's fine. She, 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 <laughs> they never have an answer for her smoking and drinking throughout the pregnancy and lying and manipulating and being violent and being on the run. And But, you know, I'm preaching to the choir. <laughs> he loves avocado. He likes avocado. We've been new. He likes mashed potatoes. Fritz. Cause look, this stuff's still in. I don't. So I'm gonna throw this. Away. But I feel bad for buying it. But it's funny because when I, um, and I was ready to open it, but then I read the ingredients, and I'm just like, I could do that. I can make that, and it'll be like, you know, like it'll be fresh. So I make in a blender, pretty much. Sweet potato. I haven't tried my own sweet potato, so see, look the ingredients: sweet potato, water, vitamin C, uh, a a ascorbic acid. Why? Like, what? What's the oven? You know what I'm saying? What? I guess to keep it like without going bad, without being in the refrigerator, because you know what food. Bruh, yeah, I noticed that dollar over there too, right? That's that's what me that that's what we talked about earlier with with uh Papa Blue. You know that they, they like to they usually use a dollar allegedly for that that uh young Jeezy that snowman that sniff sniff, you know that 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 nosy activity, you know, um and. This act, this woman act like she don't know what an expiration date is too. What is she feeding this baby, y'all? What is she feeding this baby, if at all? Come on, man. Food in that real mind that could just sit on the shelf. Because if I made it fresh, right, just with the blender and just water, if I even need water. So um, it just you know with blender woo woo. If I seal it, put it in like a thing like this, and um, that's why I'm scared to do stuff that's like already pre-cooked because if I made it naturally and did it my way and then try to conceal it and then put it on the shelf, it's going to go bad naturally. That food, I don't know why it doesn't expire, it doesn't go bad. So I just don't know if that's safe, you know, just because I don't fucking know. I just feel like fresher. Like, okay, boom, this is organic pear. We go to the ingredients. The ingredients, look, the ingredients say organic pears, organic lemon, juice concentration, concentrated. Okay. That don't even sound right. Like, I know apples that go bad. If Bruh, I ain't gonna lie. She sound like she ain't ever fed him any of that food ever. She, she don't even know what that is. Bruh, she don't even know what that stuff is, bruh. That's the first time she's ever read what she's uh, 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 feeding the baby. She, she act like she don't feed the baby, y'all. I'm sorry. Like, I mean... What is going on? Juice, concentrate. This don't even sound right. 
What? If, if, if it's not eaten, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, this food in a jar is not going bad at all. Somebody help me explain that. Like, explain that. Oh, yeah, I can't even see our comments no more. And this the other thing I don't like about... Uh, I don't know. It's a refrigerate after opening use in three days. So yeah, I guess, but it's like, how do they just get it out to, like, is it fresh for real? How long was it sitting? When was this made? When was it shipped out? So this went through a whole journey of getting to the store. Then it goes into my cabinet, but it's like, we probably 15 days in, 16, I don't even know how fresh this stuff is. So I don't really give him, and it's funny, he don't, he just, uh, his binky, he don't use it. He just like use it to make his gums feel good. Then uh, these, um, this, these are actually not that bad. You know, these are, I can read this. They're soft, it's like they dissolve so quick. So it teaches them how to like chew and stuff. Um, I tasted it, it tastes like nothing. It tastes like air. I can taste it again because I must have forgot. Let me, let me be for real. But it's for teasers. Yeah, that's that's because she lying. Yeah, I've tasted it before, it tastes like air. Matter of fact, let, let me try it again j just to let y'all, yeah, because it's the first time you're trying it out. Just be lying. Somebody go and say, does he eat scrambled eggs? You know, de these people in the chat, bro, they they really think this woman is, like, on it. She literally, does she know that some, a lot of that food you got to put in the fridge? I don't know, bro. Gentle teething waffles, waff, waff, wafers. Um, the ingredients is rice flour, Tapico starch, sugar, strawberry pure, dried up apple juice, dried spinach. Oh, I got spinach in it. Mixed taco goo goo. I don't know what that is. To maintain freshness. So basically, they make these shit. They make this shit with stuff that maintains the freshness, and that's just. I don't know if that even if that's important or not. So, like, you know, I know it's fresh, but is it? Bro, there's somebody raising a kid, y'all. This not scary to y'all? I mean, is this, am I the only one that's using a brain? Like I said, you know, these Chris animals, these, these unstable creatures, they just, you know, they just go along. They just, they don't see nothing wrong. They, 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 all this is normal to them. We're the weird ones saying anything. They're like, what? Like, what, what are you talking about? What, what, what's the issue? Anyways. Supposed to be fresh this long. So this is a way for it. It don't taste too much, and they got a scent of baby strawberry. But it's like I taste more chemicals than food. I don't know if um I don't know. So basically, when you have a child. Krishan, you are a chemical. This person talking about chemicals and you smoke backwoods. That's nothing but chemicals. What are you talking about? Tobacco? All that stuff is in that. Nicotine? And you got the nerve to be talking about chemicals? You literally drink Hennessy all the time. Man, this... Hey, this... <laughs> this woman crazy, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I mean... This was very eye opening. This is the longest I've ever watched a live of Krishan. So this is this is crazy to me. Like I'm I'm even more irritated with it than I ever was before, y'all. It's like you want to be the chef of everything they put in their mouth, and then that stuff be also like it's very time consuming, but I love it. I'm gonna do like a get ready with me too. I can't wait. Do a little get ready with me. Me and 
And the funny thing is, he's learning how to clear his throat. Like, he be having, like, spit in his throat from, like, I guess, getting a bottle. And he hear, like, <clears throat> or, like, this is stuff I noticed that he do different now. She's yet to show him on camera throughout the whole live. What's the difference? And DJ Sky in the uh, comments, my heart. Man, y'all crazy. Bruh. Oh, my Lord. Bruh. She's yet to show the baby. Why? What, what's going on? You show him any other time. She show him any other time, but he been crying. Sound like he's gasping for air, coughing up stuff, congested. Now, all of a sudden, she don't want to show him. What's going on? He's rolling. And he's doing a lot. Like, I don't know, I'm excited. He's getting bigger. This is going to be a journey. Because at first, I used to just sit him on the bed, right? Run the shower, right? This time, I don't just sit him on the bed. I take him with me because I'm like, he gonna, he's going to end up off the bed. And I could put him in the middle of the bed. He got to be somewhere strapped up. For me to feel like, oh, his security is right there. If I just lay him on his back, he turns around and just. It's just beautiful. But I don't know. I don't know what to, like, I don't really care for the um, negative, hateful things y'all say. Only thing I'd be like, kind of like, confused about is I don't know. It's like I've never been like this baby so fucking famous. It's crazy. <laughs> like people is really like fake concern, fake trolling, fake. Oh my lord! Here we go. She gaslighting y'all. She gaslighting us. We got fake concerns. For literally seeing her neglect. All right. Drinking and smoking throughout her pregnancy. All right. This baby was literally just gasping for air at this moment. What? Probably 10 minutes ago. All right. My baby fell famous. She know what she doing, y'all. <laughs> this woman's evil. Auntie's on the Instagram. I'm like, girl, child, leave me the fuck alone. It's my child. Please. <laughs> but I, I don't really be caring, though. I think it's because I'm a true, like, a, a, a true, like, I'm truly somebody's mom. Like, if you're somebody's mother, you don't care what they say about your kid. As long as they know the Lord, respectful to you and others, and it's not a troublemaker, that, you know what I'm saying? This baby's so precious. So perfect. Y'all could say anything about him. It's not gonna bring me down. It's not. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. And the other things he's been saying, say da 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 da. And he yells, like he yells, like he be like yelling. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, we hear him. We've been hearing him for the whole two hours. Come on, I got you. Bless you. <laughs> and I got them this little thing that he just keep bouncing in. 
And then why y'all post this video talking about look at Krishan? That is not my baby. Somebody probably thought it looked like my child, and they trolled my child because my child is a headline. Posted it, said, look at Krishan Jr. And that was not him. I'm like, why is people this crazy? Nothing wrong with the video. I'm just like, why lie, though? That's not even the baby. What you mean, why lie? You lie all the time. It's a lie all the time. What the hell? Lie, Sean Rock? Yeah. Yeah, and that was it, y'all. That was it, man. I'm irritated.